Newly diagnosed cancer patients with solid tumours will now be able to be referred to the chemotherapy day unit. The service will be run by a clinical oncology team from Zanet, the successful tenderers. Margaret Ayling has provided the funding for the unit in memory of her late husband who died of cancer. Ten years ago, she made public her intention to sponsor a chemotherapy unit. But the dream of enabling patients to stay at home with their loved ones is a lot older than that. One she shared with her husband, and later her parents, and one born out of their own experiences. We didn't have any money at all. I was a school teacher, and my husband was trying to start embark on a business. So life was very hard, and school teachers didn't earn that much money in those days. So we had to stay in very, very bad accommodation, a room which was not good at all. And it was the trauma of three whole months. Flights were difficult and very expensive, so we remained there for three whole months. It was a traumatic experience, and my husband felt very strongly about it. We wanted to ensure that we could make a little difference, and it has been our dream for about over the, well, 40 years now, way back in 1977. And then my parents um, encouraged me when my husband died, and our dream came true. Inaugurating the facilities, the Chief Minister said his government's policy had been to offer as many services locally as possible. This one, he said, was among the most important, with benefits that would really be felt by patients. Well, I think when people need care, particularly in the area of cancer care, if we're able to do more in Gibraltar, and we're able to do it to the standard required and more affordably than it costs us to send people abroad, then we have an obligation to take the steps necessary to achieve that care being provided in Gibraltar. And with the generosity of Margaret Ayling, with the work that's been done by John Cortez, by everybody in the health authority set up to ensure that we can deliver this, Isabella Lul Hammond became the Cancer Services Coordinator. All of that together has enabled us to deliver this manifesto commitment. That's all very well, tick a box, but this care for people when they most need it in Gibraltar. That's the reason that I like being in politics, because we can deliver the things that our community needs. The service is currently costing three quarters of a million pounds, and it's estimated that providing it here will cost around a quarter of a million. So there would still be room for expansion. But finances are not the main reason for the move. The, the trauma of having to go through a treatment for cancer, if you add to that uh, being away from home, particularly if you're in the UK, sometimes for months at a time when you go through the whole sequence of treatments, even having to travel across the bay to Algeciras and coming back on a hot August day, um, it's not the same as being able to just pop into St. Bernard's um, and, and have the treatment here and be with your loved ones you know, within, within minutes. Um, so I think that's, that's the real benefit for the person. But there are other benefits. Um, fortunately, because of all the work that, that's been carried on through all the different disciplines on the clinical side, coordinated by, by Isabel Alul, who's our cancer services coordinator, we will now have the medical team on site. So all the different professionals, oncologists, radiologists, they'll all be here discussing the, 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 the patient and the treatment. Um, so that will have added benefits. It's not going to be emails on focus and so on. It all focuses here. The patient is the centre of our activity and this will have all sorts of benefits for them. Of course, cancer treatment has moved on. We hear of great advances in, uh, I'm going to say, Pamplona mm -hmm. as an example. So when is it decided, when it's treated here or when it is taken further afield? This is a decision that the multidisciplinary team of doctors, with involvement from the patient, of course, will decide. There are no two cases the same. Um, there are advances in medicine, uh, fortunately, uh, and there are centers of excellence all over the world, but there's a lot of things that, that can be done here, uh, and any patient who can be dealt with here, uh, with the medical advice, with the multidisciplinary team's decision, will be, will be seen to here. If there's anything that cannot be dealt with here, sadly there are always going to be conditions, not just cancer but other conditions, that Gibraltar will not be able to deal with because they're very complex. Um, we have to accept that in our community we go over and beyond what would be expected of, of any community of our size. But now we have this additional facility and I think it's going to do a lot of good to a lot of people, particularly to a lot of families. The unit will also allow for patients to be seen in consultation and follow-up clinics.